again from From Head to Toe and today's Halloween tutorial is on a boxing girl with a beautiful eye and a bruised black eye. So I actually did this Halloween look a couple of years ago, I think like three years ago and I didn't want to do like a traditional girly girl kind of Halloween look. I wanted to do something that really got to show off some makeup skills and freak people out a little bit without doing any like blood and guts. So I had so much fun doing this look that I thought I would do it again and share it with you guys. So if you would like to see how to look like you just got punched in the face, then please keep watching and I'll show you how it's done. To start off, I've already put Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Foundation all over my face. And I also covered up some extra spots and dark circles with this Max Look Cover Up Concealer in NC30. So to start with the eyes, I'm going to put Urban Decay Primer Potion all over my eyelids. What that does is it helps your eyeshadow to last all day, which is super important for Halloween. So I'm going to do that and also dot it underneath. Since we're going to be doing a bruised eye, I'm going to bring that all the way down below my actual eyelid area. So we're going to start off with the pretty eye. What I'm going to do is take this eyeshadow right here, the hot pink one called Junk Show. I'm just going to use my Sigma E70 angled brush and then put that all over the main part of my eyelid. You're going to want to bring the color high enough so that it will really show up as being hot pink just because part of my outfit is also hot pink. So I really want to bring that color out and make that contrast a lot with the bruised side. Next I'm going to contour that color with a darker shadow. I'm going to use just a plain black color. This is blackout down here. Using the same brush and then make a little C shape on the outer part of your eye like this. And then just bring that top color in right where the crease area is. If you're not sure where your crease is, you can take a brush and push in at your eye socket. Where it goes in is the hollow of your eye and that's the area where you're wanting to contour. Now just using any blending brush, just blend out this color so the lines aren't quite as harsh. Everything sort of melts together, especially in this area where you added some contouring color. You can go back and add some more color right here to deepen it up so you don't lose that really smokiness. Now I'm going to line my upper and lower lash lines with this Milani Liquify Pencil Eyeliner in black. So just bring this really closely into the lash line. Don't bring it in too far on the bottom lid if you have smaller eyes. If you have larger eyes, you can probably rim the whole eye, but otherwise it's going to make your eye look a lot smaller to have too much black. So just smudge that line out with your finger. Same with the top, just smudge it out with your finger. Now I'm going to take a small pointed brush. This is the Sigma E30 pencil brush. I'm going to go back and take that hot pink color and add that just to the middle of your lower lash line right here. Not too much because you don't want to look like you're bruised on both eyes. And then I'm going to take this black and add that to the outer third of the eye. I'm also going to take that black eyeshadow and go back over the pencil liner on the top lash line just to set that color. Now for the inner eye corner, I'm just going to add a little bit of Urban Decay's 24-7 pencil in Yayo just to brighten up the eye. And that's also going to give further contrast from the bruised eye. Now I'm going to curl my lashes and add mascara. I'm using CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume Mascara in Waterproof. Then I'm going to add a long pair of false eyelashes. These are NYX lashes in number 113. To fill in any gaps that are missing, I'm just going in with my Ico Graffiti Eyeliner Pen. You can do this by going underneath the lashes and literally making little dots. Now for the bruised eye, I'm going to use the Milani Liquify Pencil again, but I'm going to use it in a little bit of a different way. First of all, just add some over your main eyelid and underneath your eyes as well, like that. Because it's going to look like a black punched eye. You can smudge that out. And for this side, you can totally be kind of messy. 
because that's just going to add to the look. Now, another thing when you get black eyes, a lot of times you'll get a ring that comes down right here. So you can also sort of like draw that in a little bit. You also might get hit right up here by your nose. Smudge a little bit there. And up here by your brow. Just think of like a big fist like punching you in the face right there. So those are going to be three areas that we focus on, right here at the top of your arch, right here by your nose, and underneath your eye. So we're going to start off with a purple color to go over these black areas that we just drew in. I'm going to be using this purplish color right here. This is just a generic 77 color palette to add some onto an E55 Sigma brush. Now just pat this over those areas that we just created. bring the shadow up higher than the black on your actual eyeball. Make it pretty dark on the inner eye corner here. Don't forget to add that to the nose. And then kind of make a little circle here where it hit your eye. Looks pretty awesome, right? So now I'm going to take a matte yellow eyeshadow. I'm using this sugar pill color in Butter Cupcake. And I'm going to add this color to any areas that are going to be puffier if it got like bruised. So up here, sort of blend that into the purple. Also do that around the nose. It's probably got bruised there as well. And of course down here. the yellow areas, maybe underneath that a bit. And on the inside of the eye as well. Now I'm going to add just a hint of a green shade. I'm going to use this one down here. You can use the same brush that you used the yellow one, so it, it sort of like mixes into this nasty yellowish green bruised color. I'll be pretty gentle with this. Just add it to the edges of some of the purple areas. You probably don't want to go over the top with the green. Now I'm going to take that same pointed brush that I used on my other eye to add a little bit more black. To do the same, I'm going to take some more of this blackout color. I'm going to deepen up the black on this eye. I'm going to bring it up a little bit higher and really bring that into the inside of my eye. I'm going to concentrate that black color on the front and the back part of the eye. Feel free to be a little bit imperfect. If it's too exact, it's not going to look as realistic. Now I'm going to add some blush to my cheeks. I'm using this Wet n Wild blush in pearlescent pink. Just very lightly dab my um, F40 brush into that. The stuff is very pigmented, so you have to be careful. And then I'm just going to bounce that on my cheek with the nicer makeup. <laughs> it's okay to kind of use this to contour on this side because that's going to give you a lot of contrast with this side that's all bruised up. So I'm just going underneath the cheekbone area and bring it up a little bit and then blend that into the apples of the cheeks. See the contouring effect there compared to here? I'm going to add a little bit of blush here but not nearly as much as the other side. You intentionally want it to, to look a little bit uneven. I'm not going to do anything too over the top or crazy. I'm just going to use this really sheer purple lip gloss. This is Revenge's Sweet from MAC. You don't want to have anything too dark that's going to distract from the eye. 
So now we're almost done and I'm just going to set the whole entire face with a translucent powder. I'm using this Tarte Smooth Operator Powder. I'm going to use a stippling brush just because we don't want to migrate the colors around the face very much. We just really want everything to stay in place so that it'll stay there for the whole night. Go over the areas that don't have the crazy makeup on it first. So for this eye, I'm just going to gently press the powder on top of the makeup to set it for the night. You don't have to worry about mascara or eyeliner or anything else for this eye. It's good just the way it is. So here is the final look. So this is my costumed look. These are just some sparring gloves by Century. And I also have on just like a pink little sports bra or you could use a tank top. And this black hoodie, some black shorts, and these boots I got from eBay. When I did this look three years ago, I also went to the toy department of Target and got a big wrestling belt that had a spinner in the middle. I unfortunately didn't hold on to that, but if you wanted to, you could pick that up and that would really also add to the look. Yeah. Ha, ha, ha. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial. To see more Halloween tutorials or more tutorials in general, you can check out my blog. That is from headtoe.com. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me on Twitter. That's twitter.com slash from head to toe. If you enjoyed this tutorial, um, you can always subscribe up there and like and favorite down below. This is Jen, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!